dream. Yeah, they're they're right there. I don't know why I'm getting so spooked out. They're just masks. Need to figure out what I'm going to review next. Um... Wait, just look at this. What is this? What a... Isn't that glorious collider mask? What's it doing here? Oh my god, the rumors are true. Can't believe it. Hey everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'm okay. Um, I've been asked a lot lately to do an episode on the odd collider masks that appear with Buzzard. And for those of you who saw the Buzzard review, caught the little hints that I kind of threw in there, I'm happy you did. I couldn't really talk about what I was doing yet because I wanted to do something a little special for this one because it is special. These are weird and they're hard to find. The, the likelihood that you'll get one in your lifetime is it's small because you're going to be paying a lot for them. Um, 100 to $500 a piece. If like depending on the condition, um, most of them are going to be coming from overseas. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to be paying for shipping over. So there's all these things to factor in. But let's talk about it a little bit first here. So thanks to Bjorn again for uh, sharing some images with us, and I'll I'll post them back up as I talk through here. But I want to I want to figure out something here. So so not only did Gloria get shoved down in the series four right without her actual costume and don't forget the clone the clones here too so not only did that happen but they hated her so much that they said hey let's uh let's use her mask on maxi and miles knee buzzard for over in europe i have one And I had two. I'm going to tell you a story about that in a second. 
So the some of the things that I've read about these masks were that the for whatever reason the masks for buzzard and the European releases were really brittle. So they decided to go with something they have more of a surplus of. Uh, and the other thing I heard of too is that they, they it basically it leads to surplus. Um, so the collider mask by itself, it's very pliable. It doesn't, it's not going to break. I can like squeeze it and it works fine, right? Um, my version of, I think this is Flexor, or I forget which one it is. Um, I can squeeze this one fine, no issue. Now, when you get to these masks right here, I'm not squeezing this one. Here's my horror story. So I had two of these before, and normally I had them displayed in the glass case. When I was redoing the intro for the show, I forgot that I left it on the figure shelf here, and it just so happened that the uh, screw that was holding up the the weight of that giant uh, shelf there, it it broke. It like snapped out of the wall, and everything fell. Made a big noise. And I was lucky that out of all those figures up there, if I remember my count, it's like 120. Nothing broke. I was I was happy until I got down to the bottom of the pile, and I saw this mask. I had two of the same one. Shattered the pieces. Literally shattered the pieces. So, and you can see mine's missing pieces too. This this actually happened before. This is how I bought it. These masks are so brittle, I don't recommend ever taking them off. And if you're buying them from overseas, make sure you talk to the seller and say, hey, wrap that thing up good because it's got to survive how many, you know, airplane rides and or transport boats. Who knows, right? You want to make sure it gets to you. So I had two down to one. But how can you get these? Well, there's a couple ways. If you're able to get these masks here, you can paint them. And you could probably get these 3D printed now as like this base and then get these and you can paint them. Or maybe somebody's 3D printing these now. I don't know. But if you are, let me know because I'd love to get something to complete these. Um, but what you have is you have you can get a two pack with the two figures and two black masks. You can get one in the racing arena, which if you already have the Bruno one, which I do have up there, it's already incredibly rare. If you had the mask in it, even 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 harder to find. Um, the the first release of Buzzard in Germany had the black masks in it instead of the um, the regular ones that I would see. The second release also had them as well. And the second and the second release of the buzzard, you might also get the ones with the dots on it, just a blue dot and a red dot. Or if it's blue and red or blue and green. I forgot. But they just had dots on them. Those, those would be the ones that would be the hardest to find. And if you're if you're selling these as a as the actual thing, don't, you know, make sure that you can kind of find some kind of authenticity with this because there are things out there now where you can just 3D print anything. So I'd hate to buy, I hate somebody to say, hey, I got a $500 mask for sale and then you find out it's 3D print. Um, that'd be kind of a dick move. But for the most part, if you can get one in your collection, consider yourself very lucky. If you're Jorn and you have, a thousand of them. I'm going to find out where you live. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts on these masks. Let me know if you have any. Let me know if you have any questions about them. I'm sure myself and Bjorn can answer. But until next time, <sighs> this is Bill from MattTracker.com. I hope I can sleep tonight. It's
drums get-